And we are going to be looking at at least a little bit better shot of trying to get a couple of showers and storms going over at least today and tomorrow before we dry out again. Here's a look at Cloudcroft, where once again this afternoon, this is one of the few locations getting a little action. The clouds quickly form and the rain comes soon after. And you can see the, wet, uh, the road's getting wet there along the, uh, at least along the streets of the village there. And we are looking at a few showers out there, but they are few and far between. The Sacramento Mountains, one of the prime locations, picking up some of those showers right now, right along the west-facing slopes of the mountain chain. As we spread the picture out, you can see a couple of lighter showers in northern Lee County and southern Roosevelt County. And as we move to the north, we're getting a few showers going along the southern portions of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, a few of those trying to make their way into Santa Fe, also seeing a few of those showers developing along the Mazano Mountains. So if you are in Albuquerque and you look to the south and east, you can see a few of those showers starting to form there. And we are going to see a lot more development, but it'll be a little bit later in the day once we start to see those showers and storms form. Here's a look at downtown Albuquerque where we have mainly clear skies right over the valley, but you can see some of those clouds forming along the mountain chain. 89 degrees the current temperature, a west wind at 6 miles per hour. Temperatures across the north mainly into the 80s, down to the south into the 90s here. Roswell just one degree shy of 90. 84 in Rua Doso, 93 in Alamogordo, 94 in TRC, and also for dimming. As we take a look at the relative humidities, we do have quite a bit of moisture to work with across the eastern portion of the state. This will be one of the better locations to pick up a few of those showers and storms later on this afternoon, but we could still see a few of those showers find their way into central sections like the Albuquerque metro area later on in the afternoon and into the evening as we get some of these storms to form over the mountain chain. We can get a couple of gust fronts out there and as we've seen over the past couple of weeks, get a couple of those gust fronts to collide, we can get a shower storm easily in some of the lower elevation communities. Right now, not a very good setup, but at least we are getting a little bit of moisture into the state. High pressure sliding up into Colorado, that's opening up the door for a little bit of moisture from the south. So it's not an impressive moisture tap, but at least it's something to work with over the next couple of days. Scattered storms mainly across central and eastern New Mexico throughout the afternoon. Then into tomorrow, we'll continue with the chance at a few of those storms, but high pressure will start to migrate back down into New Mexico, and by the end of the week, we'll start to shut off the moisture tap. Still getting a few storms, mainly over the higher terrain late in the week, but mainly dry across much of the state, and temperatures will be warming up as well. It looks like toward the end of the week, and we'll get another cold front in here, and that will recharge the atmosphere for moisture. Right now, still no sign of our traditional monsoon setup. Southern Colorado, temperatures into the upper 80s to low 90s with partly sunny skies. Isolated storms possible. We'll continue with that storm chance through tomorrow, and we'll see a chance at maybe a spot storm or two over the San Juans mainly through the end of the week and into the weekend. Over the northwest, partly cloudy skies, spot storms possible here as well. Highs into the low to mid 90s, upper 90s for Farmington. We cool things down a little bit for Wednesday and Thursday with a better chance at a couple of showers and storms, but we quickly heat things back up toward the weekend. Over the southwest, partly sunny skies, scattered storms, especially over the Gila, but you get outside of the Gila, it's going to be hot. 100 degrees in TRC, also for Alamogordo, 99 in Dimming. We'll continue with the chance at showers and storms through Wednesday, then spot storm chances into the weekend. Over the southeast, partly sunny skies, isolated storm possible, temperatures on the hot side, upper 90s to low 100s this afternoon. Roswell back into the low 100s by the end of the week as we dry out. Over the north these partly sunny skies, scattered storms will be possible. Highs into the low to mid 90s in Las Vegas will be in the mid 80s with good chances at showers and storms through the next couple of days and a little bit warmer and drier toward the end of the week. Over the northern mountains, afternoon storms a good possibility for this afternoon. We'll continue those into Wednesday before spot storm chances for the end of the week. Over the east mountains, we'll have a chance of grabbing a few storms already seeing those form over the Manzanos. In the metro, we could see a scattered rain shower to find its way into the metro later on this evening and into the overnight hours. We'll continue with the chance tomorrow and then drier for the end of the week as temperatures warm to the upper 90s, 98 degrees by Saturday. Yikes. Yeah, it's going to be hot. All right. Thanks so much, John.